Health Foundation of South Florida in partnership with the Florida Health Network and Health Matrix Solutions convene health leaders and policymakers. Their goal, empowering health care providers in affecting lasting healthy behavioral changes, thus helping their patients improve their quality of life and age strong. Behavior activation. Behavior activation. That is one of the important themes to have as an outcome and understanding from this forum. Great strides have been made since the inception of Health Foundation of South Florida to ensure health equity among the aging adult population, 5.3 million in Florida and growing. Progress has been made by engaging a broad network of partnerships, leaders, and organizations. The Healthy Aging Regional Collaborative, as we call it, HARC, which many of you were valued partners. We helped reach more than 38,000 older adults in a five-year period in Broward, Miami-Dade, and Monroe counties. The collaborative's success led to receiving the Fleming Award from the National Council on Aging and later the designation as an age-friendly community for Miami-Dade County. At the Healthy Aging Forum, we learned from leaders of community-centered institutions, healthy aging subject matter experts, as well as innovative public service entities. Currently, many Americans see aging as created obstacles to the entire policy and process. And we're going to say, how can we help? Well, today is the, is the right time to help because today you're going to be hearing from a lot of experts on how we can help the process of aging to be one that everyone looks forward to. Our panelists shared success stories related to integrated systems, shared best practices for implementation, and offered insights on what to measure and which outcomes to accomplish. Lively discussions as we challenged ourselves on how we can do better in making Florida a healthy aging state. Information showing the proven value of community healthy aging evidence-based programs to the taxonomy, of Medicare and Medicaid services. Success stories such as Stanford's Chronic Disease Self-Management Education Program, which uses culturally relevant education to help patients and healthcare providers create productive relationships. How the Maine Health Partnership for Healthy Aging has experienced improvements and balance by educating the patient about fall prevention. Real life changing stories on innovative ways for older adults to overcome social isolation and depression shared by the Health Promotion Research Center from the University of Washington. Successful experiences from the Elder Service Center of Merrimack Valley. Real life examples of programs showing the benefits of linking healthcare providers with community evidence-based programs. Directly from Texas A&M University with the Center for Population Health and Aging offered examples on how community-based programs can be sustainable and good investments for clinical partners. Health Foundation and Florida Health Network thank everyone who made this our first Healthy Aging Forum possible. Especially thankful to our expert panelists as well as the lively discussions with the participants to this full-to-capacity event. Together we are creating a pathway to become change makers in developing policy, systems, and reframing how we ensure healthier lives for people of all ages 
and especially the older adults.